Okay, so the next two transactions are the utility bill and paycheck. So for question one, um, let's see here. Your utility bill is here. So Central Utilities has the address here as 3390 South Clark Road, Huron, Huron Ohio, 44839. Your account number, 8795512. Your meter, EJM08301-6. Your billing period is from April 1st, 21 to April 30th, 21. Your water is due is $34.61. Your electric due is $69.19. This has your usage, usage history. So here is the, the graphs and it is due by 4-10-2021. So what type of transaction is this? Is this gonna be a withdrawal money coming out? Are you paying money or you're depositing, putting money into your bank account? When is the payment due date? When is this due? Due by when? Type in the date here. How much do you owe? What is the total due? Question four, who do you make the payment to? What is the company you're sending the payment to? Mark, did you mark the due date on the calendar? So the due date here, if you look and you see the due date is due by 410. So look for April 10th, which is a Saturday. Utilities are due. Okay, make sure you mark that on your calendar. Did you do that? You should have a separate calendar. You could keep track of all this stuff. Question six, did you mark the date to make the payment in the calendar? So if we make the, if we pay the bill the same day our bill is due, most likely they will not get it in time. If you have a late payment submitted, you could end up, uh, charged fees, which is extra money. And to avoid that extra money charge, you want to go ahead and pay earlier than the due date. So we're going to back it up five days. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to pay our utilities on Monday, April 5th. So write that down to pay utilities. Okay. Did you write pay utilities on Monday, April 5th? Yes or no? Question seven, did you write the payment information in the check register? So for, we're gonna pay our bill on the fifth. So we're gonna write Century Utilities, $103.80 and subtract it from our running balance, which is ends up being $2,185.05. Okay. Question eight, congratulations, you got your first paycheck for the month. A check for $98.71 has been deposited into your account from JB Services. That's where you're going to say you're working. So what type of a transaction is this, withdrawal or deposit? Question nine, when was the check deposited? So find out the date. What date was that and type that in. Congratulations on your check. How much was it? Find out how much your check was and type that on the in the box. Who sent the check? Who is who do you work for? Where is your paycheck coming from? Type that in the box. Now, did you write this date on the calendar? So, it says you received your paycheck on 49. So, look at 49. Now, April 9th. Look write paycheck, okay? Did you write this on the calendar, yes or no? And did you write this on the check register, this transaction? So right under, um, huh, I skipped one, I think. So first paycheck, 4921. 
and it is an addition of $98.71. So you're gonna add that into your running balance and just make sure you have it on there. I will, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you on the next assignment.